Hey guys, thanks for checking in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Um, today we're just going to show you how to use a carbon pile uh, battery load tester. Um, we recently had a question from a customer of ours um, how to use one of these. He bought one. He actually had the load screwed all the way in and every time he would hook it onto the battery it would smoke up and arc and you know as as they do they do smoke up because you're applying a load to the battery but I'll just um, help you guys out and show you how to do it so this is a 500 amp um, which does a battery up to a thousand CCA so pretty much this will do all car batteries with no dramas at all so it even shows you down here I'll just turn this light off check the battery state of the charge so you obviously want a fully charged battery um, and then apply the load which is half the CCA rating of the battery so this battery here 650 so basically 320 amps is what we want to apply to this battery so here we went to 6 uh, 50 ish and it would obviously end up here at around 320 so you can use whichever rating you want um, obviously you can see this a lot easier but you know 620 we're going to end up somewhere around here so we will hook it on it doesn't matter if the uh, um, um, cables uh, the, the battery is still connected to the car generally I'll hook up the positive first before the negative and you want to make sure you've got a pretty nice connection onto the clamps because like I say it is applying a load so we're on happy with that we can see our gauge has come up it's 12.24 just under 12.6 um, obviously it's state of charge is just okay um, looks like it's been dropping down a bit um, this battery we tested with our little electronic battery tester and it actually came up fail but uh, we always confirm with the load tester afterwards just to make sure we're not getting any false readings from the little electric one um, so we just start screwing this in and applying a load and we watch our amp meter up the top here start screwing that screwing quite a bit obviously you can see my hand down the bottom there it starts applying the load will come up there we go bang on we watch this gauge see the it's coming down into the replace mark hear that audible tone and we take it off screw the load all the way out And that's it guys so it's at 21 degrees C it says to to change that's a bit a little bit warmer than that here today um, but we've got two replace readings you know it's the other battery tester said it was just about bad this one's saying it's just about bad and it gives us enough um, confidence to sell this customer a battery even though it didn't really have any hard start symptoms or anything like that um, before the cooler weather sets in we, don't, we want to make sure that he's not going to get stuck in his driveway or um, on the side of the road somewhere so thanks for joining me on that one guys if this helped you out in any way please give the video a like um, or consider subscribing to the channel if you have any comments drop them down below and I'll be sure to uh, get back to you on that one cheers and we'll catch you in the next one